Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are talking about cheap coffee beans. The coffee that you can buy when you go to your supermarket. Is it any good? Is it worth spending 12, 15, 20 bucks, 20 pounds of, for the bag of, of coffee when you can get a nice coffee beans for three pounds fifty today we will try to dial in this particular coffee i bought in my local uh, ms that's a coffee for from uh, nicaragua it's an organic coffee single origin um, now the strength number three whatever it means that well actually that means medium it doesn't say medium roasted, but the strength medium. So let's let's assume that's a medium roasted coffee, and that there are tasting notes here. There are tasting notes here, well balanced with a hint of fresh acidity and sweet tangerine. Mm. Uh, I remember one of my one of my first coffee beans uh, that I bought uh, when I got my my Barista Express. I, I went for something very similar and ah, it was so frustrating. I couldn't hit nowhere near that good uh, pressure for pressure range for espresso. I wasted a whole bag of, of coffee and I got pretty much nothing. Um, to the point that I thought maybe my coffee machine is broken, maybe something wrong with this. No, no, it was actually, if you want a good pressure, you need freshly roasted coffee. Uh, obviously you've got those pressurized baskets, uh, then you can cheat, you can use even grounded coffee, but uh, pre-grounded coffee. But if, if you, if you want to play with the, with the normal baskets, then you need some, you need a fresh, freshly roasted coffee. And I freshly roasted coffee, I mean, maybe a week, two, three, four weeks old. Uh, if you have lots of uh, good quality coffee, uh, I recommend to freeze. I've recorded a video how to do it. Uh, and then it's, it stays fresh for, for pretty much forever. Now, when you go to the supermarket and you buy uh, a coffee, they, well, hardly ever you can find a, a roasting date. What they put on is a best before date. And on this one, so I'm recording it at the end of uh, November, um, 2021. This one, best before September, 2022. Is it fresh? I don't know, but I don't think so. It's probably been roasted few months ago. What can we get? What can we get from this? kind of coffee can we get an espresso so that's a question for that's the question for today so my barista express is ready uh, let's measure 19 grams of coffee because guys if this one tastes as good as my specialty coffees then what's the point of paying uh, lots of money if you can have a coffee for 350 So if you if you know when you open a bag of the good coffee the, the aroma it almost smacks you in the head. This one there, well there is something there. There is a, there, there is something there, but no, nothing special so far, but well, we will see. Okay, so this one says medium medium roasted coffee. Uh not sure if you guys can see kind of on the dark side I would say what do you think what well they say medium uh, I will try with the barista Express grinder first okay if we cannot hit anything decent on this one then we will move to my uh, Eureka minion speciality uh, if we manage to get a right shot, I will run another one with the naked uh, porta filter just for you guys to see the all the coffee spraying on my uh, pristine t-shirt. So something that, that I strongly recommend is the coffee funnel. It helps a lot. 
it's nice also to have some barista cloths well not necessary you can use a uh, regular cloths but uh, well when you use barista cloths you you are almost like a barista it makes a better shot i promise uh, okay well i'm not sure if you can see lots of clumps maybe the light is not the best lots of clumps so i uh, will get my uh, homemade wdt tool uh, let's declamp everything let's let's put as much effort as possible to get a, a good shot because every little help especially with with this kind of coffee well i might be wrong but we might get a perfect shot in the first time but uh, well that would be something <laughs> i haven't tried as you see i opened that coffee right now i haven't tried it before so no idea what we will get wow lots of coffee actually Oh, that's a dense coffee. I want to thump it well, so to make sure there is as much resistance, as much resistance from the coffee bed, so that we should create some uh, some pressure. Crush. So I'm giving you a good view on uh, pressure gauge. Normally I say ignore it, but today we will be also checking. Uh, with the speciality fresh coffee, it's usually well beyond num uh, 12 o'clock in that region. But if the coffee is not great, then that might be somewhere around here. That tells us something. And also we will keep an eye on the time. So ideally no less than 25 seconds. So what can we get? Wow, 16 seconds. <laughs> that's, that's the issue. I, uh, that's the issue with, the, with that kind of coffee. 16 seconds. So guys, you don't, you don't want me to drink this one. No? Uh, uh, under extracted, uh, probably very sour. Well, but I, have a look. There is, there is a crema, ah, there is a crema. Okay, I, I, guys, just for you, I will try it. But it, it, it smells like a, it smells like an ashtray. Definitely not a medium. Uh, it, it, it's terrible it's 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 terrible guys <laughs> it's, it's it's there is a bitterness uh, nothing else I know I, I'm, I'm speechless it's terrible maybe with with lots and lots and lots of milk that would no, no, this is going straight to the sink. That was, that was off. In fact, I had, I had many bad coffees in my life. This, this, whoa. And it makes my tongue uh, almost numb. No flavor whatsoever, apart from the, 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 the kind of awful, sick bitterness. So, take number two. So this time we will go, it was five, let's go for two. Barista cloth. It's not like I'm trying to sell anything guys, but if you're interested, you can find the links in the description, all of the stuff that I'm using. Uh, uh, you pay the normal price and I will get like uh, 10 pence or, or five pence. So that will help me a lot. You know, normally when you tamp, the tamper kind of goes in a little bit. Here, it's like if I was pressing against the concrete. <laughs> uh, 
So actually I forgot to turn on the scale while I was uh, doing a shot number two, but it was uh, awful again. Um, so I will I will do one more. With, well, I already grinded it with, with, with Barista Express. One more. Uh, this time we're going as low as possible on number one. I don't remember my internal burst settings, but it's probably around three. Okay, we've got the pressure. We've got some pressure. Okay, shot is I got everywhere. I think we I think that's that's it guys. We've got about about twenty not sure if you can see but about twenty-five seconds. The setting number one we managed to get uh, a shot that at least in theory should be okay so we've got crema now maybe i got used to the smell now but it's not as strong as before no let's let's taste it Okay, it's definitely the best, the best shot yet. It it still makes the the, the end of my tongue to get to, to go. My my end of my tongue still gets uh, a little bit numb, but now I'm getting that. Um, well, I wouldn't call it a fruitiness, but uh, that kind of um, tangerine. -y, Well, it's only because they put it on the on the on the on the bag. That's why I can kind of taste the tangerines, but it's still a very very difficult coffee to drink. The answer to the question: Is it possible to to do a shot of espresso using the the cheap uh, coffee beans from supermarket? Well, the answer is yes. But once you get used to a good coffee, it's very difficult to, to enjoy uh, something like this. So now guys, how, how we can slow down? How we can slow down uh, the extraction? So obviously we can grind finer. That's one thing. We can tamp harder, but this here, it was, it was, it was impossible. Uh, there is a way to do the pressure, well, kind of pressure profiling on the on the Barista Express when we do a very, very long pre-infusion. And then at some point you can uh, release the button and then it hits the coffee with the full 14 bar pressure. So that would be another thing. Um, you can also increase the dosage of the coffee so the more coffee the the longer the extraction but as you could see this is a like 18 uh, uh, grams basket ims basket and it was i, I would be difficult to put more so uh, i promised you a, a naked porta filter and this one here inside there is a 22 gram uh, ims basket so we will we will load it in with the 22, 22 grams of, of, of coffee and, and you will see what happens. Okay, so I, I will still use the Barista Express uh, grinder here. And maybe we can get even, even better shots. This one, this one again goes to the sink.
Yeah, so this one was a bit cold. I mean, it, it warms up faster than uh, the spouted porta filter, but I will pull a few shots to warm it up. Let's measure 22 grams of coffee. Let's do one more. Okay, there's one more thing, there's one more thing I'm waiting for. There's one more thing that we can do to improve the taste of this coffee. Yes, you can uh, in, in, regulate the temperature. Yeah, so what I did, you press and hold the power button. Well, the press and hold the program button uh, when machine is off. Then you press the power button, there's a beep. And then you have five seconds to choose which temperature you like. So um, you have minus one minus two plus one and plus two and then it will accept and then so now the machine is set on the lowest uh, temperature you have all the information on the, in the manual i never remember which to press so that's why i, ha I always have the the manual with me yeah, it's up to the probably another half a gram would still would still fit in but the pressure oh my god so that's it guys 30 about 28 seconds we overshot it a little bit 48 so what we get when we spend 350 well there is definitely a, well it looks okay it looks okay um, definitely not for the naked porta filter but okay. ready there is a bit of sweetness but that overpowering bitterness is still present. It kills all the other uh, flavors. There is there is something there of the of the fruitiness of the citrus flavors, but it's so far away, and that bitterness hits you like if someone smash your your face with the ashtray. I, I, I'm not enjoying that. I'm not enjoying that coffee. So. If you're planning to buy a, a cheap espresso coffee for your espresso shots, don't. There's no point. I mean, 
that probably they should serve it in prison for, for, the, for the punishment. Don't buy it. Don't buy it, guys. The only reason to buy this is if you want to purge your, your grinder. So definitely, I'm definitely not enjoying it. And look at the mess. Now I will have to spend 10 minutes to, to clean up all, all that stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack. This is my coffee show. If you're interested in, in buying some of the equipment that I've got, I will put the links below. I won't put the links to this one. <clears throat> Please don't buy it. Pro they probably they probably there are some good super well good decent supermarket uh, 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 coffees that you can you can find but uh, I don't think anything for three fifty. Um, so my advice is to invest in a good coffee. Thank you very much and see you next time.